And at this time, I'd like to invite the man of the moment, Mr. Brian Bullen, to the podium for his presentation explaining his design philosophy. Now, topics in this presentation will cover various areas such as planning and development, historical preservation, adoptive reuse, green spaces, and housing. Please give a warm welcome to Mr. Brian Bullen. You know, I believe that real change, positive change, requires creative thinking. Hopefully we can, we can all think about what's really important for Grenada, you know, moving forward in terms of um, our development. Without a firm understanding of the type of development which we permit, backed by proper legislation, that is properly enforced, the fabric of our communities will be quickly eroded. Today, erasure of historical traces in the landscape is unbridled due to inadequate legislation and a pervasive apathy toward the merit and value of their restoration. Grenada's second largest town, Grenville, located in, on the Atlantic coast, possesses one of the few remaining colonial buildings now slated for demolition. Adaptive reuse of this magnificent Georgian landmark reimagines it as host to a new urban center activating and infusing purpose into a building left abandoned since it was gutted by fire over a decade ago. Restoring its distinguished brick facade allows it to embrace a new commercial program, yet assert its historical continents as a scenographic marker throughout the new spaces framed within its walls. With an aura of intrigue and a promise of spectacle, Quarantine Point has casually hosted visitors and events for many decades. Yet this 9.5 acre retreat in the southern tourist belt of Gdansk counts among a rapid depleting list of green public spaces in Grenada. The vision of Quarantine Park is one that invites and welcomes the public encouraging a communion with nature and a pause for contemplation as part of Grenada's history. Following the completion of Volume 1 and 2 of this five-part monograph series, Volume 3 focuses on the design of Caribbean homes. Despite our ever-changing circumstances, one factor remains, the humanizing and positive effect that well-designed spaces can have on the outlook of its occupants to the extent that the quality of people's lives can be greatly enhanced by homes which are not only functional but offer charm, intimacy and aesthetic appeal. Today Grenada possess still possesses pristine sites that are primed for new projects. The challenge of development comes with risk and responsibilities. Balancing the impact of the environment and communities with a financially viable, long-term, sustainable model is the real dilemma at hand. 